In one of the latest videos, we saw the Chandler Germanium compressor from Softube. And boy, I like that one so much that I didn't feel the need to buy the hardware. So since I like Chandler gear and I like what Softube is doing with their emulation, I went back and tried the other two Chandler emulation they have. One happens to be one of my favorite hardware compressors of all time, almost five grand though. So in this video, let's see what Softube did with the emulation of the Chandler Zeno limiter. Let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Mix Plus TV. Hope you're having a great day and stay safe out there. By the way, how is your quarantine going? Leave the comments down below. I hope you guys are all safe and soon we will do a live stream. As you can see, some changes going on. We'll get to that in another video. Before we start, check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, special discounts, offers and free plugins. And if you want to support the channel, access to exclusive content like mix consultations with me via Skype or email, exclusive videos, exclusive live chats, click the join button down here, see all the perks of becoming a Mix Best TV member. So the Chandler Zener limiter is based on the vintage EMI circuit used to record Beatles and Pink Floyd at Abbey Road Studio. It was also part of the 1969 and 1974 TG consoles in there. So it's safe to say that this compressor was a big part of the sound of that era. And it takes his name Zener limiter because he uses Zener diodes. So different from optical, FET or diode bridge compressors. The Zener diodes are difficult to implement, but if you do it right, you get this. A colorful, punchy, big sounding compressor that sounds like no other unit out there. Quick look at the front panel. We have an input gain to adjust the input coming in high and low. The THD, so the total harmonic distortion, that's your color, which is adjustable here. Input and the three modes, comp one, comp two, and limit, we'll see that later. An HPF sidechain, always useful to take the low end off the detector so the compressor doesn't react too much to the low end. Attack and release are self-explanatory. And then the secret weapon switch, limit THD. In limit mode works with one of the three uh, compression mode, one, two, or limit, and in THD, you basically use this one as a saturator and what an amazing one. It was one of my favorites for electric guitars and vocals specifically, but also for drums, synth and bass. And I will start this one with one trick that I used to do on vocals all the time. With the hardware, I used to send vocals to one channel first in THD mode for the saturation and the second one for compression. Sometimes I swept it around, but this trick was always sounding amazing. And we'll start just with that. I have two instances on this vocal. One I will use for THD and one for compression. So this is without. Don't dwell on the past and the shadow we cast. So unembraceable and alive. Look you dead in the eyes, the peel off the sky. All is erasable and there's no. Why do we even try? There's nothing left here. He breaks so nicely. The kind of saturation he has already got me. I know Softube knows how to do saturation. This is right away from the first few seconds. Very impressive. Second instance for the compression. The peel off the sky. All is erasable and there's nothing left here for you and I. Why do we even try? There's nothing left here. We lost a whole world in one night. Okay, this sounds really good. I was using Limit, which is uh, what I usually use for vocals with this one or Comp 1. And I immediately recognize the behavior, the saturation too. Let me play a little bit more with Comp 1, which is the other option for me for vocals. We won't dwell on the past. And the shadow we cast, so unembraceable and alive. Look you dead in the eyes, the peel off the sky. All is erasable and there's nothing left here for you and I. Why do we even try? There's nothing left here. We lost our whole world in one. And you can hear this compressor while being colored and I'm pushing because I'm using one channel uh, just for THD 
it still maintains this natural and organic sound on the vocal. I'm actually gonna take the THD out in the first channel and use it as a limiter to chop off the first, the highest peaks, and then the second one in comp one to adjust the overall dynamics. Let's see how that works. I'm gonna bypass the second. It's a ball and there's nothing left here for you and I. Why do we even try? There's nothing left here. We lost our whole world in one night. Great, absolutely great. You can, you can see the double action of the limiter and the comp. It, it really thickens up the vocal. It makes it like very controlled, very dense, and it adds that specific color the Zenner has, and I totally, totally love it. It's a racer ball and there's nothing left here for you and I. Why do we even try? There's nothing left here. We long You hear especially the last part, how it brings up the detail, how it brings up the level of the vocals in a very natural way, while still being a very color compressor. It is really close to the hardware, and uh, this comes from someone that used the hardware for many years. So let's try on another favorite application for me for the Zener Limiter, which is electric guitars. Okay, you can hear by adjusting the high and low input gain, uh, you can get different kind of uh, total harmonic distortion, different degree of saturation, but you hear how the guitars get so aggressive and in your face with the THD. A great, great unit and they replicate it very well. So let's try the compression on the guitars. you get that really strong pick attack. I show this trick with another compressor, but like I said, this was the original uh, unit that I was getting that trick uh, with. So next would be drums, mandatory, because the TG Zender Limiter is one of the best compressors for drums. Let's try it. And notice not just the color on drums, but how punchy and how it pumps really nicely on drums. I'm using limit mode right now, perfect for parallel, squashing even more than I'm doing right now, but also fitting in insert like I'm doing now for a heavy rock track or metal. I love the comp one too. It adds that very nice glue while keeping the snap of the drum. So again, uh, this compressor sounds absolutely great. Good job, SoftTube. I'm so very happy again that they nailed uh, this emulation because these are expensive piece of gear. And uh, even if they're 90, 95% of the hardware unit, you can open as many instances as you want. They sound absolutely great like the Chandler Germanium. So definitely, Check this one out. So this was the Chandler Zener Limiter by Softube, a great color compressor for mastering tubas, guitars, bass, drums, vocals, you name it. This is a monster unit. Good job, Softube. The link is gonna be in the info box down below. The plugin is on sale at the time of this video, so 
take advantage of it. I hope this video was useful. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Leave your comments down below. Follow Mixbus TV on Facebook and Instagram. We have a lot of giveaways going on right now and more in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification bell. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Stay safe.